the uh, trade name is Aerobica, and uh, it's a device that uh, oscillates when the patient exhales into it. And what that does during the oscillation, you can feel the oscillation into your airways. And, and uh, what that does is to enable the pa patient to breathe better. And we wanted to verify independently that the fact that this device benefits these type of patients who, who, who have got a significant problem, respiratory problem. And uh, accordingly, uh, we went to Western because they had that capability and that expertise. And blow it out. With our Take technique, using hyperpolarized in. helium-3 gas in MRI, and we actually out. go directly to the source and can get structural and functional imaging of the lungs themselves. Um, so using this information, we can get a lot more details and get a lot more differentiation between subjects uh, that otherwise wouldn't be possible based on breathing maneuvers alone. And this top panel here shows in the three views, the coronal, sagittal, and axial, are pre-OPEP images. So this was acquired before the, the patient actually started using the device. And what we can see here is um, this ventilation defect. And this is actually a defect um, in the whole right middle lobe. And then we acquired um, an image again following OPEP uh, treatment. So the subject went home and they used the OPEP device for three weeks and then we acquired uh, this second image here. And now um, the helium MRI is, is shown in purple and we can actually see that this region is now ventilated post OPEP treatment. We're really fortunate to have a company like Trudell um, in London that's a major research and development company that's focused on lung disease. And they have been working tirelessly for years to develop new treatments for lung disease. And at the same time, we've been developing in parallel new ways to look at lung disease. So it's a, it, it really is a match made in heaven. And I feel very fortunate to be working on the team.